Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button right below in red. It's free of charge, you don't pay anything for it and it helps the channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell notifications for new uploads. I want to thank every single one of you for all your beautiful comments and your support. Thank you so much. And I would like to mention that right up top, there's three little buttons. You can click there to slow down the video to the speed you would like if I'm too fast for you. Also right next to it, there's the uh, CC closed caption. You can turn that on and you can pause the video and take notes of everything that will be written down here on the stitch that I will be calling. In case you don't have the CC up there or the three little buttons on the video up top, there's three little buttons. You just click there on the settings and it's in there. You can slow down the video and also turn your closed caption on. The next thing I would like to mention is in the description box, everything is always listed below. There's a little arrow right uh, like a V upside down right below the video on the right side. If you click that little arrow, everything will be in the description box. So I have my Facebook page for the crochet. I also have a Facebook group crochet that you can join if you have a, a profile on your Facebook. And um, you can um, join us in the group. It's a private group. So, of course, you have to have a profile. If you don't, then unfortunately you can't because there's too many scammers going around with the groups and I want to make sure that we're all safe and nobody's going around scamming anybody. I see a lot of that in the groups nowadays and I'm taking myself away from the groups due to that fact and also the fact that there is some nastiness going on, especially coming out of administration's mouth. That's not a good thing. So, I decided to create my own, inviting you to be part of it, if you'd like to. Um, what else? So I also would like to mention, if you please want to help to donate for the women in need of thread and yarn, I need your help to buy them the thread and yarn. I have my PayPal account below in the description box. You can donate whatever you feel like. Everything adds up at the end, so we can help these women to get them busy with, you know, creating some pieces and distract their minds from the daily life stress uh, that they might be going through. It could be a mental stress, it could be family stress, it could be mothers alone with children that cannot afford to buy these threads and yarn. So I really want to help them out. And the only way I can do it is by you and I together helping them out. So please be generous and help out. It doesn't matter the amount. And I want to thank you so much um, for helping Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm sure they will appreciate you too, very, very much so. So thank you again. Um, anything else? I hope I'm not forgetting. So normally when I'm calling out the stitch and I say chain one for space, for, and I usually say chain one separation, that means for space. If your stitch is too tight, then do an extra chain. So instead of doing one, you do two chain. If your stitch is too loose, then do less one chain. Also, uh, when your stitch is extremely tight, you should go with the hook, one hook size bigger than your normal that you use because that will help to loosen up the stitch when you're going into the second row and try to put your stitches in. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. We're going to get started. Please also share, give a thumbs up on the video. It helps to circulate the video and have the channel to be recognized. Share on your Facebook public with your family and friends. Have them join us together as one big family. So thank you so much, everybody. I send much hug and love to every single one of you and many blessings from the universe. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, everyone. So today we're going to create this doily. Placemat could be a doily to put anywhere, or you can attach two or three together and make a long table runner. Now, this will be the set from the table runner I created um, and did a tutorial yesterday. And this is to match, and I'll just show you. For some of you that missed out. So, this is the table runner. 
and I added some flowers. Now, because this is a plate uh, mat, of course, I wasn't going to add flowers here because it has pearls when you put the plate. You know, it's you can't do that. It just won't fit properly. So instead, I took in to get it a little bit more color, and I did the green around it. Finished my edge exactly the same way as we have on here. So if you want to create a set, you can go ahead. This is a special request for Nancy Strand from Wasabi Beach, Ontario, Canada. She's making the set and wanted to have the doily placemat to go with it. So I came up with this one. I hope you guys like it. Very fast, very simple, very economic to do. And it's just gorgeous. Now, my colors don't give justice, but this is a wine purplish color. Okay. And this fits perfectly in anywhere you want to or next to even the table runner with some candles or whatever you do, decorate your table with. Or just any area. You could even make it for a bedroom using different colors or one color only. It's up to you. But we're going to create this today. And this is very, very simple. And very fast please also don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video it helps to circulate the video and share it with your friends and family on Facebook put it public so other people can recognize the channel so we're going to get started on this very simple so the first thing you want to do by the way these are all four ply 100% cotton thread Hook size three, a small one to tuck in loose ends, and of course a pair of scissors. Now sometimes I get questions if people can do this with Aunt Lydia number 10. Yes, you can, but don't forget because these are thicker threads. This is almost like Aunt Lydia number three. You will have to go up more rows in order to get the size desired, which is a lot more work and the count is different, but it's not impossible. You could also add three or four um, threads of, of number 10 together and you can make it thicker by that way okay so either you do magic circle which is just putting over hold it come and grab your thread from the back put your circle into position and do your first chain I'm going to do two more to get the size of double crochet inside of this magic circle. If you can't do the magic circle, then do a uh, four chain and close in with slip stitch. I'm, I'm gonna have a total of 12 double crochets in here, row one, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Now you gotta make sure you have your 12 double crochets. You come into the third space on the first chain we did, we did uh, chain three, come in the third space, close it in with slip stitch and just pull into your magic circle. And now we're going to go one, two and three again. In the same space, we're going to do another double crochet. So now we're going to create groups of two double crochet, separated space by one chain. We're going to do this all the way around one group per space two double crochets we're going to have a total of 12 exactly like the double crochet below row two i'll meet you um, at row three so on my row two i did one chain and on the third space i'm going to close it in with slip stitch now, row three, we're going to walk, I call it the walk, into the space where we have that one chain. And I'm doing a single. Two more chains going up, that equals a double crochet. In the same space, now I'm going to create groups of three double crochet. That's included with that chain. I hope my camera's not too much widening out because, oh my goodness. 
trying my best here and I don't want it too dark either so one chain again we're going over to the next space and create the groups of three double crochet one chain into the next space and again the same thing okay I'll meet you at the end you're going to continue so you're going to have 12 groups on the third space we're going to close it in with slip stitch and we're going to do the slip stitch walk I call it the walk to the space okay so I finished my last group I'm going to do one chain close it in with a slip stitch on the third space where we started the first chain and I'm going to do the walk with this slip stitch into the center of my space here getting here I do a single two chain now this row um, row four one two three and four we're doing four double crochet so now we have groups of four double crochet one chain separation remembering that if your stitch is over tight do two chain separation it doesn't change anything on the pattern or use a, a size uh, bigger of hook in order to not to tighten up too much of your your stitch my goodness the neighbors dogs are going nuts they're I guess they're they're flipping their food basket upside down constantly okay so we're going to continue and we're going to close it in on the third space actually no I'll come back to you to close in we're doing it a little bit different okay so I'm on my last one now we're just going to we're not doing no chain stitch okay we're just going to pull through this and we're going to go through both so basically what we just did here was like creating one chain and we're right in the center of the space instead of walking to the next one so one two three four row five coming up with three chain one more double crochet one chain separation and in between the group of four we're doing two double crochet okay so we are increasing like that and then one chain again into the space two double crochet so now we're creating groups of twos one chain again in between the four double crochet right in the center two double crochet we're going to do this all the way around and when we're going to come to the end we will um we will do the same thing as we just did on the closing on this one but i'll come back to you on it okay okay so we're pretty much on our last one again we're not doing no chain we're just coming into the um third space here and we're just gonna pull right through it okay just like that and now we're gonna do one two three chain inside of the space we're going to do three double crochets now if you find it hard to do it this way then go ahead and walk into the next space no problem again we're going to do chain one into the next space create groups of three one two three four five row six so we're doing groups of three one chain and into the next space I'll meet you at the end so I've reached the end coming into the third space and I'm going to pull right through it now sometimes it's tricky it tends to to get away but we are more stubborn than a piece of thread right so you just pull right through it like that 
one, two, three. Now, like I said, if you can't do it that way, you can do the walk, slip stitch into the next space. Now we're going to create groups of four again of double crochet. One chain into the next space. And four double crochet and one chain again into the next space and four double crochet so we're going to do this all the way to the end just like that I'll meet you at the end okay everyone going into row eight trying to cut down a little bit on the whiting here I'm going to do exactly the same thing. If you can't do it this way, then just walk over to the next space, okay? So I'm just going to hold it firm here so it doesn't slip out. And I'm going to do chain three. Three double crochets. So now we're going to have groups of three double crochets. and two chain separation this time, okay? Three double crochets. Two chain separation into the next space. And we're going to proceed this way all the way to the end on row 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll meet you at the end. So, pretty much finishing up. I'm going to do only one chain. And I'm doing the same effect that I've been doing with the other rows. Okay. So there you go. Now, this will be the last row of the white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Row nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, like I said, if you want to go bigger, you can. You just keep, you know, alternating two, three, four, back to two, three, four, and just keep adding on your chain, like two chain, three chain, because you have to give it enough. You don't want it to be pulling, right? Okay, so one, two, three. I'm going to do four double crochets inside of the space. Chain one into the next space. Create four double crochets again. And then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to proceed with the green. One chain separation. I'll meet you at the end. I'm going to cut my thread and come in with the green. So I finished my last row. I've cut my thread. Now, I did the slip stitch. I'm just tucking it in now in these loops in the middle because after we are crocheting over it, so I'm going right in the middle of the loops and cutting. And, of course, if you did the magic circle, so you'd pull on the string and you'd come back here inside of these loops and pull your string through it that secures it for it never to come apart. Most of you know already how I like to uh, tuck in my my loose ends but there's always new people joining which welcome and thank you. Good enough. And you just 
becomes perfect. Okay, so now coming in with my green. Now this rule is very, very simple. Nothing to it. So row 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, row 10. I'm coming into the center, single, two chain. So this whole row will be double crochet. Inside of the space, we're doing two double crochets and one per, per space. Double crochet, trying to hide my, my thread here at the same time. and two inside of the space. So very simple. After this, I'm cutting my thread again and coming in with my, my uh, burgundy wine purplish color. So two inside of the space and one per space, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Hey everyone, so row 11. Probably going to be dark on here. slip stitch knot come into any space we're grabbing back loops only and doing singles all the way around the same way so grabbing back loops so we can have that little line 3d effect These are Portugal threads. You could only find them here in Portugal. But I'm sure that wherever you live, you probably find something similar. Now, when you don't have the thickness in your country, so I know some countries only carry the, the 10 from Aunt Lydia, just join three or four of them together to get the right thickness to get your pattern bigger, okay? So single crochet all the way through, and then I'll come back to you for row 12. Okay, everyone. So because this is a darker wine color purple, I'm coming in with a lighter shade just to give it that contrast like I have on the table runner. And now row 12 will be just double crochets all the way around. So grabbing back loops anywhere, doesn't matter because it's only double crochets. That's if you're changing color, if not, then you continue proceeding the same way. Single, two chain. Next space, grabbing back loops, which are these ones back here. We have two of them. And we're just doing double crochet over double crochet all the way around. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing row 12, going into row 
um, 13. We're almost there, people. So I'm going to one, two, three. I'm going to create seven double crochets, one per space. My neighbors are having a party, so if you hear any music, I'm sorry, and YouTube, it's not my music, so please do not get in my case about it, because YouTube is quite picky about that. Two, four, six, seven. Now I'm going to do chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four on my fifth one I come in with a double crochet and create my groups of seven double crochet again so this is going to be a repeat like this all the way around to the end very simple two four five six and seven Chain five, two, three, four, and five. And again, I'm going to skip one, two, three, four on your fifth one. Create again your groups of seven crochet, a double crochet, one per space. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, getting into row 14. So I had an extra one, and what I did was instead of skipping five, I skipped six just to get them even. So I'm even here at the end. One, two, three, four, and five. So I skip one, two, three, four, and I go into my fifth. Now I don't know how I have an extra one, I must have did an extra stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Actually, I went into seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that means I had two, two extra stitch. No problems. It doesn't change anything on the pattern. Okay, going into row 14. So I'm going to walk over to the next double crochet with a single neck space second single, next space, third, fourth, and fifth single. Okay, so we're going to have singles. We're going to create five singles. That means we're always going to skip the first and skip the last. I'm going to come in where I have the five chain, and I'm going to do nine double crochets inside of the five chain here on the space. So four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm going directly into the second one with single, next space, second single, third single, fourth, and fifth single. So you're skipping the first and the last and proceed again directly with no chain separation directly into the five chain space with nine double crochets. We're going to do this all the way around and then I'm cutting my thread and I'm proceeding with the white. We have two more rows left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Go directly into the second one with a single and create your five singles. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I reached the end into my first single. That we started 
with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut my thread because I'm going to proceed now in the last two rows with the white. I was going to upload the tutorial on the table runner for left-handed people and I ended up touching the wrong button and I deleted all of the tutorial, part one and part two. So, so much for that, not unless I come across something similar and redo it again. But for now, it's not going to happen. How gorgeous is that, right? Okay, so now are we going to have to put the black towel because it whitens out on the white? So pretty much if you're continuing with the same color, that's fine. Try to see if this is going to work out for me. Of course, I got a bunch of things here on the small desk. My poor towel is full of like bleach colors, nail products, and it just won't come out. It's just it gets beaten up pretty much week after week. But until I can get to the store and get myself a new towel just for tutorials. Okay, anyway, so we are going to come in. So one, not the first one, but the second, actually in the back loop, sorry. So we're going to, we have the five singles here, right? One, two, three, four, five. So the second one back loop, try to hide my thread here, single. We're going to have three singles, okay? Back loop again. Second single and back loop again. Third single. And I'm going to come, I'm going to do triple. For some of you, like Nancy, I know you probably won't do the triple because you prefer to do the, the double. Go ahead. So you're going to come in from the space here between the single and the double crochet. It's probably not going to show as good. The thing is, the problem is the, well, let's try. So on the side, into the back right between the first and second double crochet into the back. So your hook is back here. You grab your, your yarn, your thread, pull it to the back, take out two, take out two. Got a fly bothering me, my goodness, out of the way. <sighs> I mean, there's never a dull moment here, right? So I had to stop the video to fight with the fly. Can you believe this is the story of my life? Anyway, one chain. I'm coming back in on the same space of this, the second and the first. Okay. And now I'm going into the, the third. Next space right over. Oops. And I'm supposed to do the triple. No problem. I'll do it this way. Okay. So now I've got my two. One chain. Again, I'm coming in between where I closed off my my second one, and I'm going into the back, pulling my thread to the back. Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. It just takes some practice for some of you that are not used to. Like I know Nancy's probably in a you know, lose patience with it, but you can't. You have to be persistent, okay? So in from the back, right right on the one we closed, 
well, you see you have the white thread there. So you know that your last white thread, you have to come in that direction, right? And then right over to the next one beside it into the back. Pull your thread, your yarn, in the back, and do your double or your triple. In my case, this is a triple, one chain separation. And you continue again, okay? So it's just a question of getting used to. Now, I'm so used to crocheting it fast that I don't have a hard time with it. I have more of a hard time when I'm doing it slow. Okay, so you know you have your last white one here, so you have to go in between and into the back. That's all you have to do and come out of the back and do your normal double or triple, whatever one you're doing. I'm sure Nancy will be doing doubles. Okay, and again. If I can hold my my thread together, right? Oh my God, this fly is coming around again. My goodness. Unbelievable. Okay, and don't forget, you have the last one to do, which is between the double crochet and the single. Okay, so you're going to have your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, nine triple. Now, coming into the second, so you have the first single and the second. Come into the second in the back loop, single, second one single, and third one. And again, coming in from the side into the first one here and into the back and take out your triple. One chain into the front, into the back. Take out two, take out two, and again. So once you get the hang of it, it's going to go like nothing. Okay, from the back to the front to the back. Take your time with it. Don't stress over it. You'll get the hang of it. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, coming to the end, I'm going into my first single that I started with a slip stitch and walking into the middle one, the second one, with a single. This is the last row, which is very fast and simple. So I'm coming in between the first and the second triple that I have here with a single. One, two, three chain back into the same space, single. Next space, single. One, two, three into the same space, single. So this is like a popcorn without doing the popcorn, okay? Makes it faster, easier for everybody. And this is pretty much it. So single, three chain, back into the same space with single. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Last one here. Eight. Eight, let's say peacot, right? I think I said popcorn, not popcorn, peacot. Sorry if I said popcorn. I can't remember. Anyway, so we have the three um, singles. I'm coming into the middle one. Single and then directly into the first space between the first and the second triple. Single, one, two, three. Next space, single, one, two, three. Same space, single, next space. One, two, three, single and three. And single, next space, single, three chain, whoops. 
Good job. My hands are getting tired, right? I think that's after the battle with the fly. Fly was still around here bothering me, so I had to go and get the cannon spray and chase it, and you name it, it was like a big fight here with the fly. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, there's never a dull moment in my life. Next space, single. Three chain single. And again. One, two, three. And last space. So you're going to have eight pithats. Okay. And a single on the middle single. So this is pretty much what it's looking like. So it's going to be exactly like the table runner. So I'm done with this tutorial. Thank you so much, everybody, again, for all your beautiful comments and support. Nancy, I hope you enjoyed this little dolly. I know you wanted the set so bad because I know you're selling the sets. So I hope this is going to help you to bring in a little bit of money for you so you can continue buying thread. God bless you, Nancy, and everybody else. Thank you. Sending big hugs to every single one of you. Please do give a thumbs up. Please help to donate for the people that need thread desperately. Uh, very important. Any amount counts, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Until next time, God bless. I'll have everything on display at the end. Bye-bye, everyone.